So today sucks because for reasons that maybe we'll get into later, um, I desperately need a haircut. I need a haircut that looks professional. And frankly, I, I love my long hair. It's not a mullet. I just grow my sideburns out and, and pretty much everything. So I guess it starts as a bowl cut and then grows out entirely. And I really like it. I think that it suits me, but it doesn't fit the situation that I need it for. It's, it's, it's an interview for something, but I don't want to talk about it yet. So the Draculina has begged me to get a Zac Efron haircut, and I guess that's what we're going to do. So this is what my hair looks like now. He hates it. I do. I can't stand it. I feel like I look ridiculous. Like... All my hair is gone. Poop. So the haircut is growing on me, uh, literally, because it has to, I think, by definition. But uh, this is what I look like, all professionaled up and, and dappered. But I don't know. Uh, the, the interview was fun. It was fine. We'll see. So I told myself I would reward myself for crushing my interview by going to the Toys R Us on my way home. But they took the, the Buckhead Toys R Us and they changed it into a Saks Fifth Avenue. Can you see that? I don't know. You can't, but it's okay. Um, oh, how did they do that without even telling me? That's not fair, man. So I came back home to the Nerf Lab after my interview to work on a project that I'm going to have to codename right now and I'm coming up with... Codename Rip Van Winkle. That's a really good one for this one. That'll make sense later, I promise. But that's that's actually devilishly clever. I like that. Uh, the Draculina has been begging to see Jungle Book. And now that I've eaten like three slices of day-old cold pizza, uh, I'm ready to head back out into the world. But we have one errand to run first, which is really, really exciting. Um, a while ago, I got... A package from a viewer who saw in the New York vlogs that I really liked the Mad Men Oakley sunglasses the ones that make you look crazy and they were broken and so he sent me his broken pair in the hopes that I would do some sort of like soldering or cold welding to get him back to fit but there's an Oakley store in Lenox uh, mall in Atlanta so I just took him in and asked him if they'd honor their lifetime warranty they asked me if I had proof of purchase I told them that a viewer sent them in and they were like, oh, no problem, we'll do it anyway. And so Oakley sent me the, uh, the frames back brand new. And so all I needed to do was get uh, lenses in my prescription to, to wick the light and to correct my, my very slight nearsightedness. So those are finally done. Like the three-month process is done. So thank you so very much to Nick for sending those glasses in the first place. That was like a huge and tremendous and wonderful present. And... Uh, let's go pick them up. Hopefully I look just as crazy in them as I hope to. Do you like this? <laughs> you look like some sort of school teacher. Is there a carnival here at the mall? Mm -hmm. Alright, so what would you rather go see? Uh, Civil War or do the carnival? Jungle Book! Or Civil War? Jungle Book! Uh oh. So did you enjoy the Jungle Book? Okay, you guys ready to see one of the saddest things? First off, no Civil War spoilers, because I'm not going to get to see it for a while. Even though movies are only $5 at our theater, like, I, I <laughs> we can't do two that close. So, we're going to have to wait a little while on that. But this is the saddest thing ever. This used to be a Toys R Us. And now it's closed. It makes me really sad, A, because there's no Toys R Us near us, but maybe one day we'll rent it out for like a Nerf War. If we could convince them to let us like try it on. I don't know, it probably wouldn't happen, but the irony of having a Nerf War in, a, in an abandoned <laughs> Toys R Us is just too strong. I, I ought to try it at some point for the SENC. Maybe we could swing it, maybe, but the Draculina does this thing where anytime we come over here, she insists on going to PetSmart so she can play with baby cats. I think every time she gets like one step closer to bringing one home. 
He's not lying. Uh. Oh, the glasses. What do you guys think? <laughs> you know, you almost wouldn't know that there's a cat in your lap. It's like blending in very sneaky. Is his name Bagheera? No, I don't think so. It should be. He's got those crazy eyes. His name is Cheddar. Keep an eye on. Appropriate. Keep an eye on. Tried the Overwatch beta. I actually kind of enjoyed it. Sometimes I live stream on Everyday Alchemy. If that interests you at all. That's my old secondary channel. I use it for gaming now. Uh, the Overwatch beta, pretty cool. It's very League of Legends-y. Like it seems kind of like a time trap to me, but the gameplay was snappy and fun. I like some of the characters. Um, it's good cosplay material, I guess, for props and stuff. And now I've got to grab a shower because this is not something I could sleep on. I'm kind of terrified of what it's going to look like without the gel in it, but...